Nada begins to realize that something is wrong in America. The guy who believed in working hard and following the rules is starting to believe that something is completely out of place here. Determined to learn more, Nada re-enters the church and finds a few interesting things. First, they live, we sleep has been painted over. They don't want that message to be known. More importantly, Nada discovers a box full of sunglasses. While the sunglasses appear on the surface to be worthless, they actually provide Nada with the greatest gift of all, the truth. When he has the sunglasses on, Nada sees through the smoke and mirrors projected by advertisement and mass media. He only sees the core of their message and the only reason why they exist. No matter which magazine Nada flips open, he sees the same subliminal messages, which tells a lot about the true function of celebrity and fashion magazines. Despite the fact that they are all different, they all ultimately serve the same purpose, to reinforce messages from the elite to the masses. Nada also quickly understands the truth about money. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, in God we trust. Nada's most shocking discovery concerns the people around him. Some people are not human. They are from another race that has infiltrated society. Nada realizes that they are everywhere and that they hold positions of power, like this politician giving a speech on television. When the aliens realize that Nada can see through their disguise, they immediately alert the authorities, saying, I've got one that can see. Being able to see is obviously frowned upon by the aliens. They do not like to be exposed. Nada quickly becomes a social outcast and aliens start closing in on him. I don't like this one. Nada and everyone in the city are constantly monitored by flying surveillance cameras that are oddly similar to the new unmanned drones that are currently appearing around the world. Flying surveillance cameras were considered science fiction in 1988. They are now a reality. The concept of truth-seeing sunglasses is an interesting way to illustrate the importance of knowledge in one's worldview. Two people can be looking at the exact same thing, yet perceive two very different realities depending on the level of information and awareness possessed by each person. Nada's sunglasses can therefore represent one's knowledge of the truth which allows a clear perception of reality. Upon learning the appalling truth about the world, Nada feels the need to share this vital information with his friend, Frank. Nada, however, quickly realizes that some people do not want to hear about the truth. In fact, many actually get angry and offended at the simple mention of something that alludes to it. When Nada asks Frank to put the sunglasses on so he can see what he sees, Frank firmly refuses and calls him a crazy mother... Nada replies with another classic line. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Followed by one of the longest one-on-one -on -one fight scenes I have ever seen in my life. A scene that is dragged out for so long that it becomes utterly absurd and even comical. While the scene maybe appears ridiculous, it says something about the difficulty of making regular average people wake up from their blissful ignorance. Frank finally sees the truth. All it took was Nada to beat the crap out of him, sticking the sunglasses on his face against his will and forcing him to look around. Yes, convincing other people of the truth can be a hard task. The two bros are then invited.